Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. Um, and look, man, this pretty much speaks for itself. But before we get into anything, guys, did you see yesterday, Tunnel 15? We got the biggest sneak peek that we've had in, in years. We got Tunnel 15. It's here. It begins. Now, yesterday was all about the stuff we already had with new levels, right? We got all these, I mean, amazing new levels of cannons and arch towers. But what's this stuff? Guys, we haven't seen anything new yet, right? Like straight up new, something we've never seen before. To me, this looks like a couple of, um, I don't know, defensive spells and some giant inferno tower thing. These are the spell towers and this is the monolith. We're gonna build it right now with you guys. We're in the developer build, so we can do whatever we want. Man, I'm trying to be focused here, but every time I see this new stuff, like this stuff is great. I love the archer towers. We're gonna do some more stuff with this and the spell towers, cause they're gonna go in with this great, but shop, you guys wanna see that new stuff? There it is. The spell tower and the monolith. I absolutely love how the monolith is a, is a dark elixir building. When they told us this, when we were in Finland a week and a half ago, I mean, I was shocked. I love it. The builder's first experiment in using dark elixir for a building. Guys, this thing is like an inferno tower, but even stronger if that's possible. And the spell towers, well, they drop defensive spells. Oh, that's a perfect spot. This thing is so perfect. Let me get it to the top level so you can see it in uh, its full you guys see that though? Extra damage. Extra damage? What's that? Guys, no matter what, it's like an earthquake spell. If a, if a thing has a million hit points, it's going to take 15% of them. It doesn't care. So consider this thing like a, it's like another Inferno Tower. It's going to be treated similarly, but it shoots a little slower, right? And it hits super hard. Okay, so now back to the defenses. Spell Tower. This is actually my favorite one. The level one spell tower, all it gives you is a rage bell, a defensive rage bell. That's the one I'm probably gonna be using most of the time. Let's finish it. Dunk. Now you'll notice change spell. As you level it up, you get different spells, right? You can see level two, poison spell. Level three, invisibility spell. We're gonna try all of those. We've already got it set up on the other base to attack. Now, just before we go, guys, let me do one of these just so you can see it. We'll do it with hammers. See, every single level, you unlock a new spell, a new defensive spell. Dunk. One more. Dunk. Uh, let's do invisibility. Perfect. And you can see the area of effect. The one that I think is going to be pretty self-explanatory that we don't need to show as much is the poison. It's going to be terrible. I mean, in a good way. It's going to kill everything in its path. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that one, but um, good luck. All right, guys, so here we are in the... I've never attacked this. Like, I haven't attacked this thing yet. Um, I think it's going to kill us. I mean, actually, I don't know. An Inferno Tower, you can overtake an Inferno Tower with a bunch of witches or something. So I brought witches. But first, let's try it with something big because we know something big is going to get roasted by this thing. Here we go. I'm pretty nervous. Too. It's already dead. Stop it. Guys, I've been really sick for a week. Did I did I see that correctly? <laughs> to my editor, just do a little time lapse here. That's so stupid. I love it. I love that the rage spell comes back up. So guys, if this doesn't get taken down, it's coming back. It's coming back. And if you had builders in there, they would have built everything back up to the point where nothing has happened. Let's try with the king. The king is going to be able to do a little bit more damage, but just like the golem, our dude is going to get just hammered. He's done. He he got farther, but... Okay, so clearly, uh, single target things like that are going to be good at single troops, like the king and the golem. But as soon as you get a couple of little guys, like we did here, roasted. All right, guys, so we've seen the rage, we've seen the poison. What about the invisibility? Wait, what? Oh no. Imagine how many good trolls we're gonna get with that right there. Making making troops just run past the town hall to something else. That's exactly imagine if that building was the town hall. Our dudes would have run past it and then turned around and gotten roasted. We're gonna get trolled so bad. We're gonna troll people so bad. I I love it. Here it's coming back up. I'm never gonna get tired of this. It's so dumb. I love it. I love it. I love that. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. 
Okay. Okay, so the rage spell is in there now. Yep. Yep. Those packages just obliterated the king so fast. And now they're chasing after him so fast. But they got swarmed with the barbs. There's gonna be some, there's gonna be some wild hero fights and clan castle fights with this exact setup. And now imagine if we had the poison there. Our troops wouldn't have made it whatsoever. The, the P.E.K.K.A. would have been helped out by the poison. Wild. Now, one thing I haven't seen yet. What about this thing versus an air troop? Yeah, you know what? Maybe. I don't know. For some reason, the Electric Dragon seems to be doing. Well, it still didn't kill it, but, you know, it seemed to do pretty good. Okay, guys, so I have heard even if you somehow get past these spell towers without them chucking the spell at you and you kill them. They're still going to chuck the spell at you. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. By the way, can you zap these things? Let me just see what happens if you do that. Zap. I mean, quake, but you know what I mean? All right. So say we do like one, two, three. Dude, that's it. That's going to be the only way to take this down without having it destroy you is take it out like you would a scatter shot, right? Tons of, of lightnings and a quake. I don't know if that's going to be worth it, dude. Is that going to be worth it? Guys, this looks absolutely amazing. We have, what, eight Archer Towers here surrounded by the Rage. I think that Rage is going to affect every single one of them. Okay, where's it going to activate? There it is. Okay, again, if you had builders in there, nothing would have happened. They would have healed up, and I assume the builders are going to get raged by the rage, and they're just going to speed up even more, because spells do affect the builders, as far as I've seen. I'm, I'm pretty sure they do. Round two. <laughs> so normally, I would say that witches would be fine here, because they're going to keep making skeletons. I don't know. Let's see what happens. No, man, they can't make skeletons fast enough. Oh, barely. No, they can't make them fast enough. Wow, man. Oh my God, that looks so sick. So guys, again, we got the same thing, but instead of one of the cannons, we have the clan castle, two P.E.K.K.A.s. Dub P.E.K.K.A.s in there. I'm gonna rock that in the clan castle because it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so fun. Let's start out with the same thing we've been doing. Actually, let's do a little different this time. Giant healer. Man, the P.E.K.K.A.s are so fun to watch. They're so fun to watch. Let's, let's just follow up with the king because we know these... Oh man, this is getting this is getting ugly. They still kill the king with no problem. There's two Pekkas, but it almost seems like even if there was just one Pekka in the rage spell, they still would have just done. Just night night for the king. I'm a fan. Guys, I didn't really see I, I wanted to see if bats and skeletons would take uh would would activate the spells. I don't think they're going to because it's it's probably going to behave like a trap, right? Where a trap can't be I mean it'd be kind of a rip off if you could activate it with one skeleton spell. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I'm kind of interested in how is a slow attacking defense like a mortar? How is it going to behave when it's raged? It's going to be way faster, it's going to hit way harder. I mean, is is it going to be able to kill a hog rider? Let, let's just see what happens. No, man, I think there's going to be troops that are still. Wait a minute. Oh, my God, I was wrong. OK, so three hits from this. All right, guys, this is what I've been waiting for. We have the builders here and they're going to get raged, I assume, by the, the defensive rage spells. Let's see what they do against two Pekka's. Here we go. Yeah, the town all can't. It will never. They're already dead. I mean, obviously, this is this is not what you're going to see normally. But imagine how well this could work in theory. Even if just one of these was a rage tower or, you know, with a rage spell in, in the spell tower. It's going to speed everything up so well, including the the beam on the top of the tunnel itself. That thing is wild. All right. So let's go all out, guys. Let's see if we can do every remaining hero. One, two, three. There's the rages. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Unbelievable. It took everything out of them. All their ability. Well, not all their abilities, but the most important one, the warden ability. And they still. 
I like that, man. I think the rage is going to be the most fun on this. But then again, the other ones are going to be the most trolly. You're going to get way more trolls out of the invisibility and the poison. Frankly, the poison, nothing needs to be said about it, except it's going to just murder us. Let's try it, I guess. All right, guys, so I would assume that barbs are going to get just massacred by these mortars anyway. But with the poison there, they're going to stand no chance. Like, I don't even know if the heroes are going to stand a chance. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. See, that right there, I think, is going to be the strength of this. You've got that poison to take down the little troops like barbs and even hogs. And then you have a big defending clan castle troop like a P.E.K.K.A. that's going to take everybody's attention. And there you go. Hey, real quick. Let me see what P.E.K.K.A.s. What happens to P.E.K.K.A.s? Yeah, they just get too slow. They're too slow to even function. That was me this past week. I was so sick. It's too slow to function. Just poison spelled. <laughs> The whole week so bad i still am dude i'm bad hi dad i'm uh recording a video T talk to you later so i don't have enough uh lightning spells to even try but in case you were wondering that thing the monolith it's got just as much health as like a as like an eagle artillery so you're not gonna be able to take it out i mean you can but it's gonna be like half your spells things gonna be mean all right man so we got everything here just Ready to go. I mean, pretty much this is everything we've talked about for the past two days. All the new levels of defenses. Now we have, you know, the defensive spell towers and the monolith in the back. That thing's just gonna... I can't wait to see it in like pro tournaments and stuff. But guys, let's try to spam everything down here. We got a golem witch army. I think it, in theory, could work. I guess we're about to see. I got no idea, dude. I got no idea. Oh no, the Eagle Artillery is gonna hit us. Okay, heal. Okay, so we just got the Rage. Now we just got the Invisibility. It's gonna make the Town Hall invisible. And just like I thought, dude, troops are not gonna target the Town Hall. They're gonna go to the stuff on the side. Now in this case, they got back on track, but our entire army was here. Imagine if your entire army wasn't here. This wouldn't have worked like this. You would have gotten destroyed. Now. I'm not going to drop any other spells because I think, yeah, I, I figured the uh, the monolith. Yeah, you're not going to 1v1 that thing ever. Wait, didn't it look like it was shooting a different color at the last second there? It was like green. I don't know. Why? 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 All right, guys, so for the final one today, I'm going to go in with mass hogs. I kind of forgot that you can have 64 hog riders now. It's going to be a great update for us. Guys, I want to see how bad it is when the invisibility just trolls you and you run past the town hall and then you just die right there. Like that's that's about to happen. Let's get some skeletons down. Anyway, be sure to let us know, guys, what you're thinking about this. I think these new defenses, especially the spell towers, they're going to be really fun, man. Let me get this stuff down before I die. I'm already dying. I, oh, no. <laughs> you can't even see what's happening, right? The invisibility tower, if you place that thing in the right area, it's going to just devastate. It's going to be wild. And the rage spell, uh, the rage tower, same thing. The poison, I think, is going to be the easiest one. If you want to chuck that thing anywhere in the base, yeah, it's going to be devastating. That's going to be the more low skill one, right? Anyway, look, we love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let us know if you did in the comments below. Be sure to leave two for Lulu, three for Melly, and four for Paya. All right, guys, so I printed out today's sneak peek right here. And at the bottom, it says, stay tuned for tomorrow's preview number three for more details. Cool. We'll see you guys then. Same time, same place. Peace.